guys, this video is going to just give you a brief overview on the dashboard. There's a couple ways that you can customize the dashboard. Um, so I'm going to go over that and I just want to make sure everyone is aware of what the dashboard actually is if you're new to WordPress. So the first thing, uh, and by the way, this up here, this is a dummy site I use. So if you go to wickedcorals.com and it looks strange, that's why I use it to test stuff. So. Anyways, so okay, when you log in after you've put in your username and password, you're going to be here. This is your dashboard. On the left hand side, here's your basics dashboard here, and these are just a few things. The, the SFV stats is just a plugin I've been playing with. Um, I'm not going to go through each of these drop downs, but uh, the Akismet is your spam filter, it's your plugin that comes built into WordPress. Um, so here's just a little basics overview of your dashboard, and you'll notice that each of these will have a drop down. So you can click that to close it, and or collapse it, and then obviously you'll see the drop down. So here's your drop down for your posts, media, I'm going to keep these clean, links, pages, uh, comments, sorry you have to just click on comments to pull those up, appearance, your plugins, users, tools, and settings. Now you see under settings a lot of this stuff pulled up here. Keep in mind that a lot of plugins in, in order to configure them or work with them to set them, you will come to settings for your plugins. But not all of your plugins will appear under settings. It's very plugin specific based on where it's going to show up. We'll get more into that with, with plugin training, but just if you install a plugin and you can't find it, kind of uh, think about where you would find that as an example. There's a plugin I use, do I have it on here? No, but it's called My Page Order, which allows you to arrange your pages, how they, the order in which they appear in your navigation. So obviously that's going to show up under the Pages menu. You would see a My Page Order right here, okay? So let's go back to just the dashboard. And one more thing you'll notice under this, if you see if I just kind of hover here, see how this these double arrows will show up? If you click that, your dashboard, your menus, just go straight to icons. So depending on your preferences, that is an option. I don't know if I'm old school, but I like to keep them all open. Now a couple other things is with your dashboard, you can actually move all this stuff around. So if the first thing you want to see when you log into your dashboard or comments, just click that, drag it, and drop it. And there it's ordered. So you can do that with all of these. Recent drafts, just swap them around. And these are all defaults that are installed with WordPress. So you're going to see this plugins, you're going to see WordPress development blog, other WordPress news. Now, if you are not writing about WordPress, which I'm going to assume most people are not, you can get rid of those. So how to get rid of those, you're going to come up here to screen options and you click on that and so this shows you all of the, um, we're going to call them the widgets that appear in your dashboard. So if you wanted to get rid of, rid of WordPress development blog, other WordPress news, and you can't see it but those are disappearing, um, let's see, Plugins, uh, recent drafts. So you'll see those things disappear. So that's kind of nice. You can also change the layout of your widgets or your columns. You can go to a one column layout. So that'll show everything just like this. Um, we saw that the three column, I mean, excuse me, the two. Here's four. So you can see, then you can actually have quite a bit going on back here if you want. We're going to go ahead and just leave that at 2. And then to get rid of this, let's just go ahead and click back on the screen options. And that's going to go up there. So obviously because I was playing with it, it shifted everything. So we're going to go ahead and we'll just pull this back up here. And now this is something, oh, why didn't that stick? You'll see too that with certain plugins, you'll have certain options like the, those WordTube um, Statistics, that's a plugin, so that's how that appeared here. But again, I can get rid of that through my screen options. Okay, so now you also have the option 
in the dashboard to do this with each of the individual um, dashboard category pages, meaning let's click on posts. And so it automatically pulls up, and again, these are all goofy test posts, but it'll pull up sort of an overview when you click on edit posts. So that way you can select which ones you want to edit. So let's say we're going to edit this one, but you want you don't need to see all this stuff, you know, like let's say you don't need to see an excerpt or you're not into trackbacks, you don't know what they are yet. Same thing. We can go back up to the top right and under screen options, you can decide what you do and don't want to see. So if you don't want to see excerpts, um, headspace, which you would want to keep that there if you're using that, it's an SEO plugin, but you'll see that both of those have disappeared. So you can do that. You can also set the columns you know, which on one hand, it's nice for writing because you've got a fuller writing space, although there's another option um, in your editor for that. So you can play with that too. I like the, the traditional because I like to be able to see, and of course I'm going to have to drag everything back up, um, uh, my categories and the publish page. Come on. I like my categories there, and I like publish too. Keep going. Sorry, it's a little slow with the, um, okay. So there you go. So now we're going to go ahead and just close that back up. So you can do that with each of your menu options in the dashboard. Um, the last little thing for customizing that I want to show you, because again, I'm a geek and I like um, the visual, oops, the visual stuff. So if you come over to users, um, we're going to go ahead and select, you would select your admin login. You can actually change the way this looks in the back end. So you, if you want it, instead of this gray theme, if you click it to blue, let's go ahead and save that. There you go. So it, it's a silly little thing, but it just changes the way the back end looks. So it changed all this from blue to gray. So, um, so that's it for the dashboard. Now, again, that's just a quick overview. Um, we're not going to get into any specifics, but it's just so you understand what the dashboard is, um, what you can do with the columns, the widgets, um, what are your options. Uh, that's it. So for now, that's a quick overview of the dashboard, and I hope it helped.